Hey, what's going on, guys? Tex coming back to today's brand new video, and we're talking about Domestic Girlfriend. Chapter 236. And just before we really hop into the Hexcast, guys, welcome, welcome. This is the talk show and or podcast, whichever one you like to refer to it as. So don't expect high editing. It's something that's supposed to be genuine, something real. And that's the goal for this. And we got a lot to talk about for this last chapter. At least in my head, I have a lot to talk about. Whether it comes out with me talking about a lot is a totally different question, of course. But man... Serzal fans, you know I I like I like Hina, but Serzal is my definitely my, been my favorite. I loved everything her and Nazi have went through together, and I, I'm hurting. I get it. I understand. I'm hurting, but I do have a very kind of neutral kind of attack when it comes to this, since I have been investing Hina, you know Hina since the beginning of the show, and the show just entered a territory where. <laughs> We don't know where the fuck it's going. Excuse my language. But we simply have no clue. And that side note at the end of the show, which let me scroll down to really quick, really fast here, that states, whew, man, that side note, it states, and here we are. That was a new start. Next time, Hina might make a move. Ooh, this is getting weird. You know what the author has not done throughout this whole this whole manga, the entirety, two hundred and thirty six chapters. She has not rushed a single relationship. Any relationship that has been rushed has been shot down. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Sarah Zala, has she been waiting in the wings to get in a, into a relationship with Natsuba? Yes, but whenever it did enter this arc, it moved fast. It was a two-chapter attack, and then bam, she's popping the question. If Hina makes a move next chapter, I'm telling you right now, she's going to get rejected. Natsuo is not going to date someone at this moment in time. If Hina makes a move now, I'm telling you, so whenever you Hina fans disagree with me, even though I, I am a partial Hina fan, whenever you disagree with me, whenever you hit that dislike button because you don't like what I'm saying, and if I'm wrong, I own up to it. But I'm telling you from what the writing has shown me in a logical standpoint, not a, oh, I believe in this pairing, oh, I believe in this, sh this shipping because I want it. No, nah, that's not how it works. You can't just believe. You can't just say, I, I believe it's going to happen. In a serious argument, if you're saying that because you do believe it's going to happen, but you're not trying to use it in a logical stand from a logical standpoint, then hey, hey, if you're not, if I don't think you're grasping at straws, then you can say what you want. You can leave the theory what you want, and I welcome that. But I'm telling you right now, if Hina makes a move in the next two to three chapters, especially next two, three maybe there's a chance, but if she makes a move in the next two chapters, she will get rejected. She will get rejected. <laughs> Natsuo's, uh, you know, the show has really showcased how r quick relationships don't work. But what this chapter showcased, it showcased the growth that Natsuo's been given. Wow. That was the most mature thing in this anime, or excuse me, in this manga that I have ever seen Natsuo do. The scene to where Natsuo's describing how he feels, you know, about Serizawa, how he's so close to her. It's probably on the cusp of being lovers, but he's so special. She's so so special to him to where she he probably doesn't even want to cross that line. Because he, the way he's going about the dialogue when talking to Serizawa and turning her down, it makes it seem as if he's maybe partially scared of ruining what they have. And two, maybe he has too much respect to put her through something at this moment in time. Uh, but um, she, nah, she's not getting with him. It's done. The, you know, she fought the good fight. She did those things. That's all right. That's all right. It's, that is completely fine. That's all right. So, but the scene where he's like, I just couldn't stop myself from telling you. Uh, Sarah Dallas, from, like, I just couldn't stop myself from telling you. And then Nat, uh, Natsuo responds with, after it was over, I hoped we'd get to perform together again. Your expressiveness helped me bring out so many emotions. It was the first time I realized how fun performing can be. And I'm sure it'll be even more fun in the future. So don't tell me that things are awkward now. I, I still want to keep working with you. 
That was a damn good closure to a breakup. Rui, uh, Natsu has outmatured you. Hina, you have mature. You, I can't say you're immature from a emotional standpoint and vocal standpoint, but from a mental point, I can. I've seen some of the stuff you've done. I, I've seen it. I love you, girl. You're the one I want to win now. It, I want you to win now. But please don't ask not to out in the next two chapters. I want you to win. Don't do it. Please. Also, I don't think, even though I want Hina to win now, I don't think she is a good mental person for Natsu. I really don't. I don't. Because she's Natsu dependent. I mean, but Rui, once again, before I get too far distracted, take notes on this breakup. You don't just break up with someone after you give them chocolate and on Valentine's Day or whatever and then act like everything's fine. That's you... You know... <laughs> I have nothing to say, actually. I'm going to keep my mouth shut on that one. But, you know, what this scene really showcased to me during this breakup is Sarah Zawa just saved Natsuo. Sarah Zawa... Natsuo really essentially said it himself, this chapter. And this is something Sarah, you know, Sarah Zawa fans can hold on to. Hina fans, I don't want to hear it. Rui fans, I don't care. Sarah Zawa's done the most for Natsuo, from a mental standpoint. It's showcasing. He just said it. He just, yeah. He's the, she's the only person that has not torn him down. She's the only person that knows all his deeper secrets and accepted him for who he is. He's the, she's the only person that did not tear Natsuo down. And she's not going to be with Natsuo. No. No. It's just not meant to be. But you, you damn well can't take anything away from her when it comes to what she's done for him. She's done the most. She probably just saved his writing. He now has access to emotions he couldn't feel before. And you know what Natsuo needed? You know what he states that he kind of that you need to be as a writer? You need emotion. You need experience. You need to be able to connect to the people that you're writing about and or the characters in which you're writing about. And that's what's going on. He just said it. Serizal has saved Natsuo's writing. She's saved his dream. Hina is holding on to those dreams, but Sarah Zawa is saying, you know, saving it. And yeah, hey, look, once again, I'm a, I'm a fan of both. Hina fans, I know you're kind of going to be like, well, well, Hina saved his dreams too because she held on to it. Yeah, sure, but a very if without the catalyst, who cares about the foundation? You can, you know, you can still build. If there's still something to build, something with you can build it. I mean. You can build a new foundation. You can build, you know, the, the key that opens the door. You can get a new key made. So don't take that away from Sarah Zawa. Don't be, don't be a shipping bias. I hate those. I hate those. I hate shipping biases. It happens to the best of us at times. But whenever someone's just being blind and you call them on it and they don't even have any good ideas to come back with, ah, I hate it. It's annoying. It's annoying. It's really annoying. <laughs> So, moving forward, what do I expect? I don't know, guys. I don't know what I expect. I'm not used to this. I'm not used to a, a romance that's this long. I'm not used to a romance that has so many different variables, so many different plot twists. I'm not used to it. It's got me tripping, man. But... One thing, another thing that really caught my eye with this chapter was I, I don't like the Sarah Zawa haircut. Um, I think Rui's definitely pulled off the short hair the best. I cannot tell a lie. I can't. I can't. So, moving forward, though, I really, honestly, in all seriousness, I don't know what to expect from this series. I don't know where it's going. I don't know how to describe to you guys what I'm, what's going on up here in my head. You know, I as a reviewer, someone who reviews constantly, constantly, constantly. I always try to look at the neo nitty, the uh, 
nitty gritty details, of course. And you know, it's something that a lot of people don't always look at if they're just fans of shows. Of course, they get used to Japanese writing and start to understand it, stand it more. But if you're constantly looking at something in great detail, and you know, you're reviewing like I do and stuff, I, I sometimes I think differently than you know others because I just I look at it really. I only take a logical standpoint. I only take in you know ideas that add up, or at least I attempt to. And sometimes I'm freaking wrong. Still, so it's hard to dictate where this show is going. Like it's rough. It's hard. I mean, whew, man, 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 man. This show's ending soon. This show's ending soon. This show's got to be ending soon. The way it's moving, how everything's happening. I mean. Sarah Zawa, her, her her arc's done. Um, I look at you know Momo and the gang. They've been a thing of the past for a while. They are never meant to stay in this story as a as main, as main characters. They were main characters in the first half of the show. Let, but let's be honest, since not just graduated high school, they have been essentially characters of the past. They've had they've been in like eight chapters together since then, over a hundred like thirty chapters or so. So I mean. Or yeah, yeah, like yeah, because they ended in early uh, chapter like 110 around there. So, so in like 100 chapters or so, they've been a six essentially non-existent. I would hardly, I can't even call them support characters. I, I, I don't. Momo and the gang, you know, Retsu, uh, I can't even call them support characters at this point. So, I mean, another main characters that came in at college, the seniors are gone. Um, I mean, essentially, the, our only main characters right now are Hina. Are are Natsuo, are Serizawa, which Serizawa from right now is about to be taking a seat back 100%. And I, I it's hard to decipher where things are going. Hina's the main character. She's had a lot of screen, screen time lately and or panel time, whichever you want to refer to it since I review anime 90% of the time. I call it screen time. But in terms of panel time, she's had 90% of it, you know, in like the last 10 chapters. Natsuo, of course, had he's It's all been about him. Um, the Smoker Girl's obviously not going to be a main character anymore. That was just a character art. We Ruby has been out of the picture so, for so long. I, I think it's time for her to come back 100%. I mean, I think I see Rui, Hina, Natsu as the only main characters now moving forward. And that leads me to believe I don't know where it's going. So, other than that, though, guys, hope you guys did enjoy the video, the podcast, in our talk show. Be sure you have been hexed. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, 25. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.